We just arrived at Ben Gurion Airport. We're on our way to Yerushalayim. We're very excited. We can't wait to walk the streets and be with the people. And over the next couple of days, we're going to report back to hundreds of thousands of people in the States exactly what's going on here, the physics that we're going to give you, the support we're going to be giving, and everyone should do their part. Israel and I came to United Hatzalah of Israel. I came to their headquarters, and what I saw, I cannot describe in words. Have something like pepper spray to keep you, you know, to feel safer. That's definitely a good option. I can't believe I'm holding this. I'm actually responsible for legalizing this in New York. Continue learning well, and uh, Hashem should help that uh, everything should be well. Thank you so much, Jay. All the best. These two individuals and thousands of other soldiers and police officers who are protecting the people of Israel and making sure that everybody is safe. Thank you very, very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Sandy, right here at a very, very special place, and uh, you you are learning at uh, what yeshiva? Shimada Raita. Okay. Uh, what is it like for you? Uh, you're from the United States. You're sitting and learning here. The last week or two has been very, very difficult. How are you dealing? It's, it's with difficult. It? I mean, we we feel it. You know, there are days where like. Um, Two days ago, our one of our band kind of, like was difficult for him yeah, to get in. Definitely more cautious when I walk around. You're also carrying something with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know how to use it? I mean, they've shown you how to use it, um, or, you, or it's yeah. pretty simple. I mean, it's, it is definitely simple, but like. Um, our, this morning, one of our rabbis like showed, like sent showed us, you how to use it. Sent, sent us a video, like of. Okay, like, we're, we're thrilled to be here, and we, all of us, uh, you're sitting and learning here. It's for all of Kali Yisrael. At the end of the day, that's the only answer that I should have. Okay? Thank you. Pleasure. So then, somebody else will come back. I don't want to yell it loud now. This is where the terrorist actually was was killed. He went right down. here, and the Israeli soldiers shot him right here. Here's the bullet hole, one of them. Here's one in the door itself. Just yesterday, 24 hours ago, right yes. here. Standing here in the heart of Jerusalem with Sari Singer. Going back to what happened then, just tell us briefly what happened and what that was like. So I was one of the lucky ones. Uh, that day, a hundred of us, over a hundred people were injured. Uh, and 16 innocent people were murdered, including one American in Allen Beer. Right, on the bus and off the bus On the bus well. and off the bus, people were injured. 16 people. Trip. If terrorism wants to paralyze us and wants to make us be afraid and stop doing the things that we love to do. And I think being here at this time is very important for the Israelis to see that we stand with them. I mean,
se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu be'alko Yisrael. You are my heroes. Every one of you in this room are my heroes. I love you, each and every one of you. Hashem loves you. They need to come, not cancel trips. The hotel should be full. People should walk in the streets. Yes, be careful. But again, if you support Israel, you love Israel, there are six million Jews living here. They can't leave Israel and come back when things are a little safer. They are here. When the Arabs stop teaching their kids uh, hatred, when they stop inciting, when they stop glorifying terrorism, when they stop sending their kids to become suicide bombers, when they accept a Jewish state here, you're in kids in kindergarten, maybe we'll be on a path to basic things and coexistence. The ball is in their court. We're not moving. I'm right as the Jews have a right to live anywhere in the state of Israel, in particular in any part of Jerusalem. Kind of people are capable of going on social media and teaching Arab children the best way to use a knife to murder a Jew. What kind of culture is that that teaches that kind of hate? It's not something we're used to really mean that the Jewish community has spent its entire life doing the kind of things that very few people do that involves making a difference for, for Jews. And uh, he had been stabbed terribly and as it, I can't even I can't even tell you what that was like. And, and then he was trying to run away from the terrorist holding the inside of his body in his hands. That's what he told us. The terrorist was running after him, stabbing him. And Baruch Hashem, he's recovering, he'll be fine. Do extra something in terms of learning. Do extra in terms of your neighbor and your friend, the hello, how are you, even if you don't like the person. You know, it's, if you like the person, it's easy to get along with someone. But if someone that maybe has rubbed you the wrong way, don't look at it. Hashem will love you for that. I thank Akush Barker that I have the opportunity to be in there to slow at such a difficult time. Yeah. To be able to give a physic to people, to be able to show unity with Klali so. And basically, I'm amazed by what I see here, the Ahlis that exists here. Yes, people are nervous and afraid, and there's nothing wrong with that. But not to the point where life doesn't continue. And 
we have to have faith in it because it's our food, and we have to, every person has to do their part, and there's no question that things are going to be dramatically better. And I'm just thankful that I am here to be able to meet fellow Jews and say, I'm with you.